it has been a terrible 48 hours to be Tommy in it. Guys, yesterday I spent uh, the majority of the day in hospital. And the, the majority of that time I spent thinking, huh, my ball is going to die. Now, I didn't know that was a thing that could even happen. And neither did you, probably. Let's rewind. And you're going to want to stay for this. Because if you like ball talk, this is the video for you. All of the incident took place on Tuesday. Let me rewind you to Monday. It's 11.30. I've just had the past two days relaxing. I've thought, you know what? I'm going to relax. I've been uploading so much. I've been streaming for three hours. I'm going to relax. So I've seen loads of films. I've hung out with Molly. It's been a great weekend, right? I had a great weekend. And I think I'm going to get an early night. And then at 11.15, before my 11.30 bedtime, I get the infamous, the one we all pray we don't get, the turbo text. I get that text from Tubbo going, Tom, can I come round? Fine, Tubbo, fine. Tubbo comes round and we watch Married at First Sight. It's a reality TV show where people get married and they don't know the person and me and Tubbo judge people. It's great. But look, this is a crucial part of the story as it means I didn't get in my full eight hours. My brain is wiring from hanging out with Tubbo. So I go to bed. Then at 8.30 a.m., I feel the most pain I've ever felt in years. Now, I don't know what happened. Neither do the doctors. But I wake up alone at 8.20, maybe. And I think, hmm, something's not right. Oh, it's the vast amount of pain I am in. Let me describe it to you. And just a warning, and for the first two minutes of my day, uh, and just any area that my ball touches feels like someone going, BAM! 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 When it just lightly touches them, oh god! And I'm sat there going, ah, 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 ah. Ooh? Don't ooh! This is my life we're talking about! So it was a terrible first few minutes of the morning. Genuinely, so much, I, I couldn't even talk. I was like, and I was like, oh, maybe it's fine. Ah! Then I Google, hmm, uh, what to do if you're experiencing extreme ball pain? I ring up 111. And I go, hi guys, hi, it's me, Tommy in it from the Dream SMP. Uh, having a little ball pain right now. Uh, what should I do? And they go, wow, we're gonna book you in to see the hospital. Uh, just, no, just a nurse in the next uh, 30 minutes. And I go, oh, so I get up, guys. I get up, I make myself some scrambled eggs, and I Uber to the hospital. And I sit there for a while. I sit about with uh, nothing going on. Finally, after about 30 minutes, I go and speak to the nurse. She goes, we're gonna send you over to a doctor and he's gonna have a look at you at this point i'm thinking fuck really don't want anyone else to see my balls today he's gonna have a look at you this isn't good this is bad what could have happened here was a ball twist sorry what <laughs> sorry hang on can you come again what a, a ball twist it is where your balls twist and that's very bad i go to sit down for another five minutes and then this lovely man doctor he goes, come with me, Tommy, in it. And I go, okay, okay. <laughs> and he asks me some questions. One of them, one of them. And this is, so you're in a room. You're just sat looking at the doctor. And the doctor's there. It's re really close, little room. And he goes, are you sexually active? And I just start laughing my head off. And he's like, what wrong? And I just got, it's just such an odd question for someone to ask me. Just keep asking, like, uh, and I'm like, uh, uh, what? And I just start losing it, laughing. And it's just in this tiny room, the doctor, like, really concerned about my balls. The second person that day to be concerned about my balls, asking me. And I just sat there, like, oh, I don't know. The ball doctor goes, okay, so look, I'm going to need to see your balls. I go, God damn it, God damn it. He says, what I didn't want to hear. This could be a ball infection. Easy, right? Easy. Or it could be testicular torsion. A ball twist, as it were, which I already knew. And I went, okay. And he went, if it has been a ball twist, and the ball has twisted and untwisted, then your ball may be dying as we speak. What the fuck?! I didn't even know the balls could die! I didn't know that was on the cards! My b I, What? Hang on! So I'm like... Okay? And he goes, and if the ball dies, then you'll have to have surgery to remove the ball. I've never had surgery! I don't want to have surgery today! So I'm like, okay, okay. Sure! Well, how do we solve this? And he goes, well, I may be a ball doctor, but we don't have any... We only get... <laughs> this is the word he uses. We only see about one ball patient a month. However, they have 
real professional ball inspectors up in Hayward's Heath. And this is his words. As this is a time-sensitive matter, we are going to take you up there in an ambulance. And at this point, I'm already like, what the fuck is going on? It's, it's 10 a.m. I'm, I've been sat in a waiting room for hours fucking scrolling through Instagram reels. And I'm like, are you sure I need an ambulance? Are you sure, Tom? This is a time-sensitive matter. We need to save your balls. Oh, just my right ball, for the record. And what they believe has happened is that my ball twisted and untwisted in my sleep. And now I'm already like, oh, man. So I go into this separate room of the Brighton Hospital uh, with all these people. Ju uh, this just felt terrible. All these people just in excruciating pain, guys. Just like genuine, this is awful, pre-ambulance. And then there's just me. Sat there with slightly achy, maybe dying balls, like... I don't belong here. <laughs> and it's the most imposter syndrome I've ever gotten in my entire life! A uh, little important detail, because I may be having emergency surgery today to fix my balls. I'm no longer allowed to eat or drink. So I'm like, oh no. I'm texting Molly. What did I... Let me tell you what I sent. Um, so yeah, this is such a weird story. Don't worry, it gets worse. So then, I get in the ambulance. In the ambulance, guys, I have a really lovely conversation with the, with the paramedic. Then, getting progressively hungrier and hungrier and being like, Oh, guys, wait. Might be going for surgery. I've never had surgery before. Freaking me out a little bit at this point. Then I arrive. Uh, and now I'm sat in another fucking second bit of the hospital. Finally, the next ball doctor comes. The professor! Professional ball doctor and he's like well and he goes kind of tell me what happened I'm like yes I got up and then I got up and then the balls hurt and that's it and then he goes Okay Well, let us have a seat and he has a little seat of course he does just everyone's fiddling with Tommy and his balls today And he has a little seat and then he's like oh um So it's either an infection Or we don't know and he goes or either now we're gonna go up and we're gonna give you an ultrasound. And I'm like, what even is that? I don't remember. It's the thing that like pregnant women have, you know, when it shows the baby, not me. Are they gonna do that to me? But it's just gonna show my balls. Yes, we're gonna. We're gonna go. We're gonna take you upstairs. You can have an ultrasound. It might be a while though. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, well, am I allowed to eat and drink? He goes, no, because one, you have an ultrasound, and two, we don't know if you're having surgery yet. And then he goes, and there is a third option we might need to do. And I go, what? What? What is it? And he goes, now if it wasn't ball torsion, and if it wasn't an infection, we're going to have to open it up and just have a rummage around. Uh, uh, guys, this is the worst news I've ever had. It's a, it's a real man. Oh, guys. My Tuesday was not going great at this point. And then... And then, I wait another hour, and I'm just sat there like this. Oh. Gender reveal party when? Guys, they're just balls. You're, uh, it's time for your ball ultrasound. I go, okay, what does this entail? And they show me this very cold metal machine. And then they have to, you know. And they go, you know where this is going to go. And I go, oh no. So I go into the ballroom, you know, usually used for pregnant women's tummies, not me. No, now today it's, it's being used for my balls. We're gonna, we're gonna have the ball check. This was my favorite bit of the event. They begin to scan my balls. And as this is happening, on a huge screen, a just huge image of my balls appears. And I just break down laughing. Because <laughs> that is a... Is a... Just a... Just a magnificent image. Of my balls. Next to me. And this has all been a lot. And this is the third person to see my balls this day. And I'm like, oh, great. And then she does that and she goes, oh, don't worry. There's another ball inspector coming to see you. Your case is so peculiar that we have to get... 
the higher up ball inspector. Now, this is my third ball inspector of the day. Now, boys, there's only so many ball inspectors you can go through before you start to feel like you're losing it. And the grand ball inspector come in. And the woman who's just done my ultrasound is like, now, I think it actually might be his left ball is the problem. And I'm like, oh, fucking hell. I'm so hungry and thirsty. And there's a huge image of my balls on the screen that you're all standing around analyzing. And so I just start filming them uh, in the corner of the room. I'm stood here like this because I, it was just too funny to me. But there's, there's a whole room full of people. Now, I obviously can't show you the big image of my balls. It's not because I don't want to, because it has all of my private details on it. And I also don't want some doctor uh, analyzing my balls because I've had enough of that. Then <laughs> the fourth ball doctor goes, hey. And I go, hey. And he goes, you know what we got to do, right? I go, I know. At this point, it's still unclear to me if I'm having surgery today, if it's emergency, if my balls are dying, if my ball currently is dying in my in me, and they don't know. They haven't ruled it out. And then, finally, he goes, well, I don't think your ball is dying. And I go, oh, thank God. But you can't eat or drink. Fuck! What we think has happened here... And he, this guy has a real psychoanalysis of my balls. He looks at the big image. He looks at all the information given my 13th urine sample. That's right, guys. I've been peeing in jars for this whole day. He goes, look, here's what I think happened. And this is the exact words he used. Words I never wished to hear outside of a, an obscure bit with Jack Manifold. Words I never wanted to hear out, out of a professional's mouth. I think... You have an unluckily built spermal canal. What is a spermal canal? Apparently it's the bit where the cum and the body link. And apparently... <laughs> occasionally, you can get really bad RNG. And it can be built in such a way that you are prone to great twists. Twists and turns. So, I am prone to these twists. And he goes, look, you're not going to need surgery today. But, and I'm still waiting on the call, we're going to bring up your balls in the next meeting we have. Tomorrow, today, for local viewers. And when we have s discussed your case, the case of Tom Simons' balls, then we will know what to do. But likely, you're going to need surgery to mend your spermal canal. Oh, man. Really? Because I don't want to have surgery. And then he goes, don't worry. You're free to go. And I'm like, great. Great. And he goes, just if you have any more balls, uh, ball pain, call the ambulance. I go, okay, great. Question for you. Where am I? Now, you may have remembered earlier. Uh, I was... Drove far up in an ambulance but this is no longer a time sensitive matter so they're not going to drive me back so I leave the hospital and I'm like oh I am in the middle of nowhere on Tuesday and my whole family is asleep, Tubbo isn't even awake yet and I'm alone and I can't drive, then I finally get back and I'm like oh what? I'm like, why, why do I feel so weird? Why do I feel? Oh yeah, I haven't ate or drank for seven hours. Oh my god! And then I collapse into the pret in Brighton Station, get myself a muffin, and I get home. Finally, after a walk, after that long forty-minute walk. So look, probably gonna have to have surgery. Uh, if my balls do start aching again, that may just happen on a stream, and I just have to go. Uh, please, guys. You know, the famous Tommy in it ball twist where, you know, you go, got your balls and then you twist, you know, that we do. Don't do that anymore. Because uh, it will destroy me now. Uh, so that, look, that's what's happened. Uh, that's why I was in hospital. Uh, it sucked, sucked out of a stupid day. But there was a point midway through the day where I was like, huh, I'm going to get a really good stream out of this. And I think we've done just that.